welcome back to our channel. So for tonight's video, we're going to be talking about wrap-up, mini book haul, and some unread books. And of course, with a glass of red wine. So let's get into it. So let's start with the wrap-up. Last month, October, I finished four books, right? I have three Stephen King reading vlogs and one Dark Academia reading vlog by Lee Bardugo. If you are looking for zombie, supernatural, horror, you can check out my Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. And if you're looking for more psychological horror, you can check out my reading vlog for Mystery, again by Stephen King. And lastly, if you are looking for paranormal, ghost, you got to check out my reading vlog for The Shining and once again by Stephen King. And I highly recommend these books if you haven't checked any Stephen King books. And of course, the last book that I read last month was The Ninth House by Lee Bardugo, which is a dark academia, dark fantasy, murder mystery, and it's full of magic, potion, cult, Please check that out. I will put the link below. So let's move on to my mini or small book haul, which I got four new books that I bought and received last October. So let's start first with The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware. And I am actually currently reading this book. Here's my bookmark. And I got like 100 plus pages more and I'm freaking done. So I dove into this book without knowing anything at all and now oh my god the story follows this girl named Rowan Kane and she applied for this nanny job at a haunted old building it's not really old it's like wi-fi operated full of cameras and very high-tech house because they renovated it and she's like I didn't kill this kid so one of the kids, because she's taking care of four children, one of, the, one of the kids died and she said, I'm innocent. So I haven't got to that part yet. Imagine, I'm like 200 pages in and I haven't got to that part where someone died. Anyway, we'll see what's going to happen and I'm really excited to finish this. The second new book that I got is Last Time I Lied by Riley Saker. If you've seen my reading vlog, um, about this book, Lock Every Door. That was my first Riley Sager book and it turned out to be a disaster. Please check it out. I will put the link below. And um, since I was devastated about that book, I hoping, I'm really hoping that this second book will be so good. Otherwise, I don't know if I'm going to continue reading Riley Sager books. So please do not disappoint me. The third new book that I got is The Bazaar of Bad Dreams by Stephen King and they said it's a um, compilation of short stories and I've heard like Stephen King is really good at writing short stories so I'm really excited about this book and I don't know how many short stories we have in here and wow, oh, I'm freaking super duper excited. And the last book that I got is Dr. Sleep by Stephen King, which is the sequel of The Shining. The Shining, which is one of my favorite classic books of Stephen King. And I love Danny, the five-year-old boy with a psychic voltage where here, I think he grew up here. So, oh my God, Danny, we're going to meet again. I can't wait. Um, I can't wait to see that you are a grown-up with this psychic ability to see the future, to know what happened in the past, and to know, like, to read what people are thinking. So, I'm really excited. So, that's pretty much it. These are my new four books. And, yeah. So, moving on to my unread books, which are the books that I want to read before this year ends. So, let's start with... The Benefit of Hindsight by Susan Hill, The Craftsman by Sharon Bolton, Mastery by Robert Queen, and of course, Six of Crows Zoology by Lee Bardugo. I was surprised, like, I did love Lee Bardugo's writing style, so I can't wait to read Six of Crows Zoology because The Ninth House was freaking good, like, five out of five stars, so I can't wait. 
but there's more. I have Sleeping Beauties by Stephen King and Owen King. I have Lazarus by Lars Kepler. If you do not know, Lars Kepler is my second favorite author aside from Stephen King, so I can't wait to read this thriller book. And of course, I have politics books, which I do not know why I haven't touched them. I have Judy by Robert M. Gates and World Order by Henry Kissinger. These books are heavy and I want to read them before this year ends, so good luck to me. My last unread book is The Future of Almost Everything by Patrick Dixon, where um, this is the book that I bought the last time I went back to the Philippines last 2015. I bought this book at Abu Dhabi airport and oh my god, I haven't read this one like what? And that's it you guys, I've still got plenty of books to read before this year ends and I also want to tell you that I got like books that I want to reread this year but how am I supposed to do that if I got you know a lot of books unread and some of the books that I want to reread are business books because I don't have new business books so I'm really paying for some um, business kind of like to improve your skills um in negotiation in anything or hard about hard work so that's it and thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog and i'll see you again on my next one so peace out